Hey guys, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. Today we'll be sharing the top 10 nail hacks that we think everyone should know. Julie will be going over them in detail with you guys. If you enjoy these nail hacks, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And now, on to the nail hacks. Hey, it's Julie. Now let's get started with the video. Pushing back your cuticles not only makes your manicure look cleaner, it also provides a smooth surface for your polish to adhere to. Instead of using a metal cuticle pusher, you can actually just use your fingernail. What I like to do is I take some oil and I rub it into my nails and I allow that to sit to soften. You can use any oil you'd like. I like to use coconut oil. Then with the thumbnail on your other hand, making sure it's clean, you can gently push back your proximal nail fold and scrape off any dead cuticle. This allows you to control the pressure and it's a lot gentler on your actual nail plate. Even with tons of practice, getting nail polish on your skin is inevitable. So save it on cleanup time by using a skin barrier. This is called liquid latex. You can paint it on your skin around your nail and wait for it to dry. And then after you polish your nails, you can remove it along with any mess you might've made. There are many different brands of liquid latex barrier out there. This particular one, once it's dry, you'll know it's dry because it goes translucent with a little bit of glitter. There are some out there that even change colors when they dry. In case you're allergic to latex, you can also get this peel off mani tape, I like to call them nail bibs, that work exactly the same. One of the best hacks I've learned is to use a sponge to apply glitter polish so you don't have to keep applying layer after layer. The sponge will absorb the majority of the clear gloss that the glitter is suspended in, leaving just the glitter to transfer to your nail. Usually one or two passes of the sponge is all you need to get a perfectly opaque glittery finish. And sticking with the sponge hacks, instead of using a new sponge every time you do the glitter hack or do a gradient, just take a pair of scissors and trim off the used part. You can easily get several more uses out of just one sponge. To give your manicure a salon quality finish, use an angled craft brush dipped in nail polish remover to go around the edges and clean up the polish. Neon nail polish is great, but for some reason it seems like it's always really sheer. So to fix this, try applying a layer of white polish first, then add the neon polish over top. The white underneath instantly makes the color pop and more opaque. Sometimes you can even get away with just one coat of the neon polish. So you just painted your nails and you're waiting for your glossy top coat to dry and you accidentally bump your nails and smudge your manicure. Don't panic, quickly smooth the smudge down as much as possible with a light finger. Then use a brush dipped in nail polish remover to further smooth down the surface. Next, add a blob of the polish to the dented part of your nail, let it dry, then apply polish to the rest of the nail. Smooth out the surface with another layer of top coat and ta-da, good as new. Sometimes you need to remove your polish from one or two nails, but doing so risks messing up the other nails on your other hand. This interesting space-like tool is a cotton ball grabber. The prongs come out of the tool and grab onto a cotton ball. Then you can remove polish without messing any of your nails up. This is also great for stamping too when you clean your stamping plates. Another game changing hack for me was learning how to make my own decals ahead of time using a plastic baggie. All you have to do is apply some top coat to the plastic bag and let it dry. 
Then paint the color polish on over top or a design. And once that dries, you can add another layer of top coat. Let it completely dry. And once it is, you'll know because it easily releases from the plastic baggie and you can peel it off. Cut it into any shape you want and I adhere it with some top coat. I did stripes here because I think stripes are an easy way to glam up a plain manicure. One thing to note, the longer these stay on the baggie, the firmer they get. So I find it's best if you wait 30 to 40 minutes until they're fully dry. That way when you peel them off, they're more flexible and adhere to the shape of your nail better. And lastly, this hack makes French manicures a complete breeze. First, apply white polish to the tip of your nail. You don't even have to be precise or clean about it. You can just slap it on there. Then take a small flat or curved brush and dip it into nail polish remover. Go along the edge of the white to thin it down and sharpen it, but make sure you're wiping your brush off on a paper towel during to prevent redepositing the color. Then apply a sheer pinky color and finish with top coat. And there you have 10 of the best nail hacks of all time. If you'd like to watch more Cute Polish videos, you can click these boxes here and you can click on the circle to subscribe to Cute Polish for a new video every week. If you'd like to check out my personal nail channel, you can click on the circle here.